Yo, what's going on guys? I'm gonna cover how to update your firmware. I'm gonna show you three different ways uh, using QFlipper, using the manual way, and then uh, using the web updater. So what we have here is unleashed firmware. You'll see one hour ago, way to go Nano and team. A uh, new release was released. So we're gonna come down here, go to the releases section, just in case you missed that here, this is all the raw code, description, what's changed, a variety of nice useful information, what's included, etc. A few good links, stuff like that. What we want is the releases. We'll come in here and we'll click either the latest one, or if you want a specific one, you can click releases in general and then go through all of them. But for this example, we're going to hit the latest and greatest. We're gonna come down here and we're gonna hit uh, install via web updater. There's three versions. There's a regular one, one without custom animations, and then one with the extra apps. The same applies here for without extra animations, the extra apps, and then the regular version. So today, for today's example, we're gonna grab the extra app with the web visit. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit connect. And, oh wow, wait. Nothing's happening. That's odd. Oh, here's why. QFlipper is open. I'm gonna go ahead and quit it. I'm gonna refresh here and look at that. It opened. So it tells you here what firmware you're on, the release date, how much memory you have left, if your database is installed what hardware your flipper is, what firmware your radio is on, and what stack it is. If you do come down here and happen to click this arrow, you'll see that there's other variants and versions here. Uh, release candidate, dev, and unstable, uh, unstable and release, these are all official firmwares. So if you did want to revert back via this web updater and you had second thoughts, go ahead and click one of those, hit install, and you're back on official firmware. But for the sake of this, we're going to go to the latest version of Unleashed. So I'm going to go ahead and hit install and let it do its thing. All right, looks like the install's done. It's officially updated to 30E, which is the newest version. And if I refresh this page, it should show us the actual screen. So if I go in and click through, unleash for more updated. Here's a Discord server if you're not in it. Here's the link to the GitHub. And we're in, Sleepy Flipper had a bad dream. All right, and that covers the web install. Uh, just in case you're wondering also why I have install from file down here, if you click the name of your flipper up here and then turn on third party firmware, you'll be able to install TGZs directly from here rather than through QFlipper. So that's something good to note. All right, next we're gonna do through QFlipper. So let's say I want the end version, which is the minimum amount of applications. I'm gonna go ahead and download it. I'm gonna show it in Finder. I'm gonna double click it because I'm on a Mac and it'll go ahead and extract it for me. So I'm gonna close out of Chrome. 
Open up Q flipper. I'm gonna go ahead and navigate to the file manager, open up my SD card, navigate to the update folder, and I'm gonna drag in this copy. You see I already have it in there, but for the sake of this one, let's go ahead and re-add it. So again, all I did was double clicked it on a Mac, it extracted it to its own folder, and I'm gonna drag that entire folder here. Now that it's on there, we're going to navigate back to the home screen, open this up, open our archive view by hitting down, navigate over to browser, navigate to the update folder, and now look for that variant that we just added. That one was 30N. Select it. Go up to update with the actual up folder, select it, run an app, has asked if we want to install that. We're going to hit the right arrow to install and let it do a thing. All right, looks like it's done. So we're gonna go ahead and up, uh, click here. Actually, let's go back, let's take a look. Yep, 30N, installed, perfect. Gonna go ahead and click through. Everything looks good, sweet, we're in. Just to verify, we're on 30N, nice. That means no custom animation. So now for another method, one second here. So now for another method, we're gonna try the good old install from file. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the zip. I'm gonna select the file. I want a TGZ, sorry. So I'm gonna grab that. There you go. So let's say I want the E version, just to show you guys. Downloaded the E version. Install from file, pick the E, install, good to go.
we're all set. That is three ways on how to update your firmware.